Hello, this is Brio again of Brio She Productions, Brio87 on YouTube. Uh, my Swift 3D Model Basics Part 1 is uploading right now, which is the first tutorial I made for you guys. And while that's uploading for the next 33 minutes, I'm going to make another tutorial on Blocky, our fun little 3D model that we made last time. And we're going to make him walk. So we'll open up Swift. I keep wanting to say Flash. There we go. Okay. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to set our lighting, since it's not default, <clears throat> to what I want it to be. And we're going to go ahead and create a ground. And we'll just make it 25 by 25. I'm going to go ahead and give it some texture. Um, we'll make concrete. That way it'll look like concrete according to what Flash, or there I go calling it Flash again, what Swift calls it. And we'll go ahead and put another pattern in there. Control C, Control V. I'm just copying the floor and I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. Make this the top one so I can move the wall. We'll put a wall in the background. We'll make a brick. Uh, not that brick. This brick. Okay, a little simple thing in um, texture morphing. Well, not morphing, but... Uh, what is it? Texture moving. Go to Edit Mesh, and it's called Editing Texture Mode. That's it. I'm going to downscale these bricks so that way it doesn't look like it's one giant brick. See there, it looks more like a brick wall. And I'll do the same for the floor. Advanced Mode, Edit Mesh, Texture, Scale. That way we got a little more has a little more of a feel to it, so it doesn't look like we're in a giant world and we're only about three inches high. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to get out Blocky. We'll go to Characters. And we'll get out Blocky Still. Would you like that? Uh, no. That way he's not really gigantic. He's sort of gigantic, but not very gigantic. Okay, and we'll put him right there on the ground. Right about there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move his arms and legs so that they're more flat out. Kind of like he's just holding his arms out like he's trying to fly. <laughs> Okay, so there's Blocky, and he has his arms out, and he's more linear than before. So what now I'm going to, what now? Now what I'm going to do is turn him to the left. Oh, let me turn on the 90 degrees thing so he actually turns left. There we go. And we're going to make him walk. So we'll take his leg. Oh, we got to put this in 18. Right leg and left leg. All right, so we're going to go to 10. And we're going to take the leg out about 45 degrees forward. I'm going to take the left leg back 45 degrees. And, oops. I forgot about the nudge increment. There we go. Make sure his feet are kind of in the ground. It doesn't matter if they're like that. We're not doing something very fancy. Okay, we'll put that back on there. We'll move Blocky over here. Or actually, wait, we don't move him yet. 
We gotta do the animation first, then we move them. So we'll take the leg, the right leg, start the animation, and we'll move it back. One, two. Do the same for the left leg. Move it forward. One, two. And then we'll go over here, right click, say copy frame, go into 20, paste frame. So now his leg will move. We gotta do the same thing for the right. Copy and paste. So now he'll start walking. Do, 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 Okay, so now that we get that walking animation going, we can continue this outward by doing the copy and paste. I'll only do about 60 frames. Paste, copy, and then paste. Do the same thing for the left leg so that way it's not just his right leg moving. Copy frame, paste keyframe, copy frame, and paste keyframe. Unfortunately, unlike in um, uh, Flash, you could actually drag and copy all keyframes that you want to use. You can't do that in here. See, I can't just drag out and say I want to copy both these keyframes and then just paste them. I got to do it frame by frame. and. Unfortunately, that's why it gets kind of tedious sometimes. But anyways, we've got the walking thing down. Got a good 60 frames of that, or 40 frames, sorry, which is good enough. So now what we're going to do is turn off the animation, take Blocky, have him at a starting point. And we'll say right here. Then we click on Animate again. Click on Blocky on frame 40 and move them to the other side of the screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them go off screen. And then I'm going to turn off the animation. Go back to frame 1. Or actually turn on the animation frame 1. Move Blocky back a little bit. There we go. So now what's going to happen is he's going to walk across the screen. Do 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 and they'll just keep going in a loop. And you can see right here what's happening. Which really I would keep it in the top frame. And then zoom down on him. You can see he's walking across. But in this window it looks like there's an infinite amount of blockies walking. And that's just basically the walking animation. And you could do the same type of animation for his arms where they're swinging back and forth. I just have him walking across like he's trying to fly. But you know, this is just to show you how to do a simple walking animation. And you would just continue on like that to whatever perfection that you would want. You just render it just like the other one. And that's just basically it.